been watching this one shower right along the Saunders, Sarpy, Douglas County line, basically stretching right along the Platte River from Valley toward Gretna. Not a lot of rain there. Move back to the north. We've been watching these showers develop over the last hour or so. Northern, northern Burke County through the Ottawa area uh, across central Monona County. Those will continue to slowly drift off to the north, so a little bit of rain possible there. And then just light rain showers. Not a lot of rain under those clouds across southwest Iowa, but still a couple of raindrops possible this morning from Mount Malvern to Shenandoah, Red Oak, maybe toward the Quincy area. We'll zoom back out. Notice this one little tongue of moisture, mainly over western Iowa and the far northern parts of our viewing area early this morning. So I think Omaha, we should be dry for the next several hours. We get this little dry slot of air to come in here. A little bit of sun will work its way in, and that'll send temperatures way up into the 80s, a little bit warmer than what we saw yesterday. Right now, kind of mostly cloudy, 65 degrees at Epley right now, winds out of the south at about 10 miles an hour. Notice the dew point. Dew points are in the low to mid 60s today. That's a very muggy air mass, and that's going to help fuel a few of these showers and thunderstorms later this afternoon. You can see this morning, most of the rain comes to an end by about 9 o'clock. Still could see a stray shower toward Harlan, Denison, and Carroll by about 11 or 12. So if you live in those areas, keep in mind if you're going to a parade, you might want to grab the umbrella, not expecting anything dreadfully heavy this morning if we do see it. Noon temperatures close to 80 degrees across much of the area. There's that sun early this afternoon, but again, later in the day, those isolated showers and thunderstorms will be developing. The best chance, I think, is going to be north of the metro, but we can't rule out a few raindrops across the southern half of the viewing area. Otherwise, warm and humid temperatures in the mid 80s later on today with those temp uh, dew points in the mid 60s. A weak front starts to sag down by 9, 10 o'clock tonight. Notice the showers and thunderstorms mainly focused off to our north, and they will decrease in coverage after sunset. 10 o'clock temperatures in the low 70s. And then as we go into the overnight, again, maybe a shower or thunderstorm fizzling out after midnight. And then same thing goes tomorrow. Starting off with some sun early in the afternoon, and then scattered showers and thunderstorms developing later on in the day. Temperatures fairly fairly constant this week. Morning lows in the mid 60s, afternoon highs in the mid to even upper 80s. Isolated thunderstorms still possible on Wednesday, drier Thursday and Friday, and it looks like another slow-moving storm system comes in for the upcoming weekend.